what's up everyone this is Adnan Chaudhary from One Jet Productions today we are going to create a metal pattern wallpaper so let's get started go to photoshop go to file new for simply press ctrl plus and first we will create a pattern for the pattern the width is 150 and the height is 150 the background contents are transparent and the resolution is 72 pixels per inch hit ok now press ctrl 0 to size it up now we will select our rectangular marker tool and we will select the elliptical marker tool or select this one now press shift before you click anywhere just change the settings the style is from normal to fixed the width is 25 pixels and the height is 25 pixels now give it a click and drag it right in this corner like this now we will bring up a ruler from the top and a ruler from the left side nice now press alt plus backspace to fill it with your black color which is our foreground color now press shift and press down arrow five uh, four times one two three four nice now bring up another ruler from top and fix this right on the center of the circle now press alt plus backspace now press shift and press the right arrow four times one two three four now we will pick another ruler from the left side and drag it in the center of the circle now press alt plus backspace press shift and press your top arrow one two three four four times now press alt plus backspace to fill it with black color again now press shift and press your down arrow four times or two times one two and then the left arrow two times one two so it will be right in the center of these four circles now press r plus backspace to fill this also with black color now press ctrl d to deselect i have already created this step in a previous tutorial but i have decided to create a complete tutorial on this pattern now we'll press ctrl and click on the new layer it will create a new layer under this layer and we will fill it with white color as you know our white color is our background color we will fill this with by pressing ctrl and backspace now we will press ctrl and click on these circles layer and then you will see that it will select these black circles by selecting your layer 2 layer which is our white layer press delete from your keyboard then press ctrl d to deselect that and then hide this black circle now select your rectangular marker tool and click and select this cube now go to edit define pattern the pattern name is pattern 9 hit ok now we will create our main wallpaper go to file new the size of the wallpaper is 9020 and the height is 10 pixels resolution is 72 pixels and the background contents are transparent let's change its name to metal pattern hit ok press ctrl 0 to size it up change the layer name to bg and select our base color or background color i am using a dark color and the code of the dark color is 4040 and 40 this is a dark gray color hit ok as we know this is our foreground color we can fill this with press alt plus backspace to fill it with this dark gray color now create another layer name this as pattern nice go to edit before you do anything just change your color from uh, for, for, as you know the foreground color is uh, dark gray change it to white go to edit fill the contents to pattern and the custom pattern is 9 which we have 
saved uh, a while ago you can see that there are so many patterns so but we didn't concern with this hit ok now I am using a texture the link of the texture is given in the description bar the texture is included in PSD file and in project file the texture is let's import it to photoshop nice now click and drag it in our main project now zoom it out press ctrl a we will center this pattern by pressing the second icon and from last to second last icon press ctrl d to deselect that now press ctrl t to transform this then we will press shift and rotate it to about 45 degrees like this now press shift and alt and give it a click and size it up right like this click on this check mark now press ctrl 0 size it up now press ctrl and click on this pattern cube box it will select all of these circles or we can say it will select this pattern now press ctrl shift and j then we will select the layer 1 and delete this because we do not need any more now select your layer 2 and change its blending mode to linear burn nothing happens but don't be worried select your layer 2 which is our texture layer and let's name it to texture or we can say a uh, metal nice okay so now go to effects blending modes go to babylon boss increase the depth to about like 110 percent the size is one pixel increase the angle to about 100 and increase the altitude to about 42 let's increase the opacity of the highlight mode to about 75 and let's select and give it a drop shadow the opacity should be increased to about 75 Increase the distance to about 7. Increase the speed to about 14. And increase the size to about 8. Hit OK. Zoom it in. You can see that it looks like a metal, but not really. So we will give it some more changes select your pattern layer and decrease the opacity or load on the opacity to about 50 percent great now you can see that it looks like a metal but we are not stopped here we will select our metal layer and go to filter noise and air noise change the amount to about 4% and the distribution is selected as Gaussian and the monochromatic checked hit ok now select our BG layer which is our background layer then again we will go to filter noise add noise this time we will increase the amount to about 5% and the other settings like distribution is Gaussian and monochromatic checked is already selected hit ok so we have done this tutorial but uh, we can do more things like we will create a new layer and name it as 
darkness okay oops i missed one s great now we will select our gradient tool and select this one and to change its default by you can change it by pressing d from your keyboard click on this gradient it's perfect change it to reverse and press shift and click right like this oops sorry we forgot to change it to radial now control alt and z step it back now click in the center and press shift to make it a straight line and like this great it looks like a ball or something i don't know what it is okay so press b from your keyboard to call up your brush sorry e from your keyboard to call up your eraser tool the size is 800 and the hardness is 0 percent and we will size it up a little bit more and click on this side and this side and this side and this side great select your move tool and we have done our tutorial give us your feedback by commenting on our videos if you like our tutorial please subscribe to our channel Thank you for watching this tutorial, we will meet in our next tutorial.